is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek Reserve, and I'm down by the marsh on the Yellow Loop on our south trails here at the reserve. And tonight we're here to listen for some frogs. Uh, they've already been they've already been singing uh, as we've been down here. We've heard a couple already. Uh, I should warn you, we have a pair of geese that are not real happy that I'm here. Uh, they're nesting down here, and so they've come honking at us a couple of times. If I lose the signal. Uh, that's a questionable thing because I'm right. There's like one little space that I can stand without moving. Um, actually, my husband can stand without moving because my husband's running the camera. Uh, if we lose the signal and we drop you, I will. We'll try to find it again and come right back. So don't don't leave us. Uh, but we will. We'll be there. Um, frogs uh, are to me are the sign of of spring. If you want to learn more about frogs after tonight's program, I do have a full Wisconsin frog program next Thursday night. That's on a Zoom platform, uh, so you will have to register for it. It's free, but I need you to register so I have your email and can send you the Zoom link. So if you're interested in that, go to beavercreekreserve.org. That's our webpage. Go to the webpage and you can sign up for it, register there. Uh, like I said, it's a free program next Thursday at 7. But tonight we are here live at the, at the marsh. First frogs that sing for us in the spring. What I would expect to hear, what I'm hearing, I'm hearing two already. Um, what I'm expecting to hear potentially tonight is a little frog called a wood frog. Now the wood frogs are usually the first to sing, but they're a little quieter. These are the ones that sound kind of like a duck when they chuckle. If you listen to just one and you use your imagination, it sounds like they're saying the words lick it up, except they say it really fast. They say, Lick it up, 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 lick it up. So wood frogs may already be done. They they get this done and over with fairly fairly quickly. I should add, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the in the comments section. My husband can see that and he will relay that on to me. Another frog, one that we've already been hearing is a small tree frog. Uh, this is a boreal chorus frog. They're recognized by the lines on their back. And when they sing, they sound sort of like somebody running their thumbnail over a comb. It's kind of a They're a little softer and they're usually drowned out by the next frog I'm gonna talk about. But again, not a very big frog. He gets a little bit he won't be the whole length of my thumb, but about that much of my thumb. Uh, and that's the chorus frog. And I am hearing those guys out here, but they're a little bit on the soft side. The one I'm hearing the most of right now is our little power singers. These are the spring peepers. These are the ones you can hear going off, going down the road, you drive past a temporary pond and you'll hear, it sounds like sleigh bells. They're the ones that when a whole bunch of them go, um, and it's that real high-pitched peeping sound. They're identified by the X on their back and they get to be about this big. That's about as big as they'll ever get. And I want to, I want to start talking about the frogs. I want to finish this last one here because I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm actually just heard this guy go. Um, and so uh, I wasn't sure if we'd get leopard frogs tonight. I know they're down here, but they're usually a little bit later to sing, but we've had such warm weather. This is exceptionally early for the frogs to be singing. Quite often at this point, the pond, the marsh is still frozen. Uh, so for me to be here in the first uh, week or so of April uh, is incredible. I've been down here the last week of April and they still aren't singing. So the leopard frog has the spots, very similar in appearance to the pickerel frog. Both the leopard and the pickerel are snorers. They have kind of a, they have kind of a snore noise. If you imagine somebody dragging their uh, thumb over a balloon when it's all blown up, that kind of squeaky snore type of noise. The leopard frogs are slow and the pickerel frogs have a fast, smooth snore. Now that gets hard to figure out after a while. What's kind of fun is the leopard frogs have an extra sound. And I always think about, you know, it's, a, it's named after a leopard. So leopards are, are going through the grass and, and they're hunting and they're sneaking up on their prey. And you know, it gotta be going through their minds, gotta be going kind of, ha ha ha, I'm gonna get you. Ha ha ha. And the leopard frog has what I call the evil chuckle. He'll do the snore and then he'll go ha ha ha. You'll sometimes hear that. If you hear the evil chuckle, that's definitely leopard frog. Uh, pickerels do not have an, uh, 
uh, evil chuckle. I'm gonna put these down for a second. And so this way for me, I'm hearing a couple of different frogs. I'm hearing, that's the tail end of the, the leopard frog's evil chuckle. I'm also hearing a wood frog. The high-pitched continual noise is peepers. Now I'm hoping you guys can actually hear these. My phone does pretty good at picking up the signal, uh, picking up sounds. So I'm actually hoping you're hearing the sounds. And again, if you have questions at all, feel free to type them in the, in the comment section. My husband is running the phone and he'll pass that along to me. My name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek and we are live at the swamp on the south trails at Beaver Creek listening to frogs. So there's a, the leopard frog is off this way. <laughs> Francine says I can hear for sure. Fantastic. Thanks Francine. It's a little bit light out right now, um, and this is going to get increasingly louder as the as the light level goes down. Uh, a little bit after sunset, um, that crepuscular time is the best time to for the frogs. But I also didn't want to be standing here having you look at a dark world uh, and trying to uh, to hear me or just listen to me. Hannah can hear them as well. Fantastic. And there go the geese. So far they haven't charged me and I'm hoping they don't. Uh, that would be quite a good show if they do though for you guys. Um, and so maybe that'll be fun. Uh, and the, the real high pitch ones, the one we're hearing most frequently is the peepers. You really have to concentrate for the chorus frogs. Chorus frogs is, again, sounds like a thumbnail on a comb. It's kind of a but he gets buried by the peepers really fast. It's amazing to me that that little peeper can produce that much noise. If you get a chance to come out to an area that has frogs, if there's peepers, you're gonna realize really fast that they are so loud, your ears feel like they're gonna explode. There's a funny extra chirp going on over here. And that's a frog, but it's not a frog call, it's um, so it's the boys who sing and they sing because it's mating season and they get any any frog swims by they'll grab them and so if one boy grabs another boy the first the boy who gets grabbed goes I'm a boy I'm a boy and he just starts squawking and I'm hearing the kind of I'm a boy squawk going on over here uh, so that the uh, the one who grabbed him knows to let go because uh, they look alike they can't necessarily tell each other apart by by sound or by appearance for people just joining me, my name is Ruth. I'm on the naturalist here at Beaver Creek. We are live at Beaver Creek's uh, marsh area. I'm on the south uh, trails at Beaver Creek Reserve. And Beaver Creek is located about four miles north of Fall Creek, Wisconsin, uh, 12 to 15 miles southeast of, of Eau Claire. If you have questions, feel free to type them into the, into the chat. I'll show you again who we are listening to. Our loudest frog out here going right now is spring peeper. Spring peepers are the little guys. About this much of my thumb, this size up here, little X on his back. And they're the peeps. Spring peepers, chorus frog, and wood frog don't have to be in a bigger wet area like this. You can hear these in flooded ditches, small uh, neighborhood ponds. They in fact don't like the bigger areas where there are predatory fish or predatory frogs. Uh, green frogs and bullfrogs would eat them. If you're interested in frogs, next Thursday night on Thursday, April 15th at seven o'clock, I am doing a full Wisconsin frog program. It's on a Zoom platform, so you do need to register for that one. Uh, it's free, it won't cost you anything, but I need you to register so that I can send you the, the Zoom link so you can join us. And you can, if you notice, as the as it gets a little bit darker, 
the frog level, the frog noise, increases. So peepers are the big ones we're hearing. The chorus is hard to pick out. Use the, the comb, the thumbnail on a comb. And there have been a few leopard frogs. For me, the leopard frogs are kind of on this side of me. And they're the ones that kind of have a snore. And they finish up with kind of an evil, ha, 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 the evil chuckle, as I like to call it. And that direction, that, that's a pair of geese. <laughs> they've, been, they've been not happy about me being here since the moment we stepped, we stepped in down here. Let's just listen for a second. If you have a chance to go where there are frogs uh, in person, I definitely recommend this. This is a program I normally do each year. I will do this next year, uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we are at a place where we can safely gather and have groups of people. Um, I've had as many as 100 people down here with me on my on my frog marsh walk. Uh, and it's always pretty fun. It's pretty it's pretty impressive uh, to be down here and hear the hear the sheer volume of the frogs. Remember, you're only hearing male frogs. Uh, they're the only ones that sing. And in most animal populations, males make up roughly half of the animals. So when you start thinking about how many males we're hearing, there's a lot of frogs. There's a lot of spring peepers down here. Again, because they're so small, they're kind of hard to find. If you have questions at all, please type them into the comment section and Ray, my husband, will pass that along on to me as we're coming. I haven't heard, I, I heard at the beginning, I did hear wood frogs. Um, they're the, uh, kind of sound like a duck chuckle. It's the, lick it up, 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 lick it up. Uh, but I'm not hearing them, or if, I, if they are singing, they're getting buried under the under the peeper noise because there's a, it's fairly soft. You have to be fairly close to them. Now the peepers are actually not in the water behind me; they're up in the plants and in these trees uh, singing. The leopard frog is in the water. Chorus frog is in the plants. And wood frogs are in the water, so they do sing from different areas. Again, if you want to learn, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, the tree pollen is starting to get to me. If you want to learn more about frogs, join me next Thursday night, April 15th at 7 o'clock. I have a uh, program, it's on the Zoom platform. It's a free program that you can sign up for. If you go to beavercreekreserve.org, our website, uh, you should be able to sign up from there. I need you to sign up though so that I can send you the link to the to the program. I'm kind of hoping the geese go to bed pretty quick. Hannah asks, how long will we be hearing them? How long in the night or how long in the in in duration? I'm gonna guess that she meant like total time frame. Uh, the peepers will sing for a few weeks. Chorus frogs will sing for a couple of weeks. Leopard frogs will sing um, probably for another two to three weeks. Green frogs won't start usually. Uh, the, the temperature of the water needs to get warmer. Um, so as the peepers and the chorus frogs are dropping back, there's another frog that will start singing called the green frog. Um, Big frog, like bullfrog, he's not going to even start singing until maybe June or July. So he's just going to live in the bigger water that needs to get warm enough. A lot of times, once they're done mating, then they will stop singing. The boys will keep trying, but when they aren't getting any responses from the girls, they kind of go, okay, and go off and, and uh, do their thing. Yep, that's what you meant for the season. Excellent. They don't sing all night either. That's why I was wondering if people were asking that because I know that once it gets dark, they shut down 
quite a bit. Again, it's this it's this dusk time that they'll they'll sing. Uh, we do hear the. <coughs> I'm sorry. We do hear the, uh, especially the chorus frogs and the wood frogs singing during the day, uh, and that uh, makes people say, "Well, what are they doing?" And it's like, you know, they're just so excited that spring is here, and they want that girlfriend so bad. They're singing during the day. Uh, usually, it's a little unusual for the larger frogs to sing during the day. Uh, because it gives away your location. There's a lot of things that want to eat a frog. Uh, the herons, the raccoons, the mink, all these other animals. Um, and so they do try to stay hidden as best as they can. I really hope this sound is going up for you guys because it's getting pretty decently loud out here. And there's cranes going in the distance. It's a great night to be in the swamp. See if I can find that leopard frog. Or the wood frog. Julie has a question. Are there any other reasons frogs make noise other than mating? Not that I know of. Um, my first response was no, but I, I don't know that. Um, but I do know that, like, I was, I don't know if you, if you were with me, um, once in a while you'll hear, like, weird chirping noises coming from the, from the water. Um, and that's when one male catches another male. And the male who got caught is going, I'm a boy, let me go! Uh, and so he kind of makes this that kind of a, a, a chirp noise. Uh, once they're done mating, I can't necessarily say that I hear them when the day length and the temperatures get right again in the fall. You will hear spring peepers uh, sometimes sound start sounding off late fall and it's it's the day length and temperature that sets them off but they're not mating at that point. It's just it's sort of an ingrained trigger uh, that they're going to uh, start start singing. What's interesting with... Wiley would like to know how many different types of frogs do we have in Wisconsin? Fantastic! I always forgot to tell you that. Uh, we, do, we have 11 different types of frog and one toad. So we have 12 members of that family. And if you see a toad in Wisconsin, it is the American toad. And then we have 11 different species of frogs. And again, if you want to learn about all the frogs uh, Wisconsin has, next week on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, I'm doing a program on Zoom. You're more than welcome to join me. It's a free program, but you do need to register ahead of time. You can register at beavercreekreserve.org. Registration allows me or gives me the information to send you the Zoom link because it's, it's not an open link. Lauren says that the peepers are getting so loud it's almost hard to hear you. I have no response to that. I know they are. <laughs> I'm already yelling at the top of my lungs. Um, in there. That's what's fun. I was going to say, what's interesting to me is the peepers and the chorus frogs and the wood frogs who can... Uh, don't need a, a permanent body of water who will sometimes be out in temporary ponds or, or flooded fields. They actually can change how quickly they go through their metamorphosis from frog to adult. If the pond is drying up, they will go from egg to tadpole to adult almost a week to two weeks quicker than they would if they feel like the water is going to stay there. They do it much faster than the bigger frogs. Green frogs and bullfrogs both spend the winter as tadpoles. Uh, they don't necessarily turn into adults until the following year, or the following spring. Uh, but the, the peepers and the wood frogs and the chorus frogs uh, will all start doing this and they, they can move it along and they're sensitive to the fact that the water is drying up. Uh, so I think that's really kind of kind of cool, kind of interesting. Leopold wonders if you have any idea how many species of frogs there are in the world. Oh, good question, Leopold. I have no idea. I didn't look that one up yet. I will have that piece of information ready for uh, my program next week. Um, and uh, if you're not able to join the 
program, uh, email me. I'll, I'll get you that information because I did not, uh, did not look that up. One of the problems is we keep finding new frogs, and so the number changes every year. Um, I can't just remember from year to year. I always have to look and see if they have come up with any new species of, of frogs. We've got a spring keeper really close to us. I'm really hoping the leopard frogs are closer to me and kick off because they're kind of fun. Leopard frogs have that kind of a snore sound, kind of a... But the best part is they're leopard frogs, so they have that evil chuckle. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not sure if they're picking that. There's one solo wood frog singing over here, the one with the mask. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Wiley wonders when we might hear the tree frogs. Tree frogs are going to be a little bit later, uh, once the leaves are out on the trees. Uh, late May, early June is when I would expect tree frogs. Although, this year I have no idea because this is way early for these frogs. No way in the world if I would have had to pick a date to do this back in January I would ever have picked April 7th or 8th or whatever today is um, and so I'm not even sure um, but this is way too early in my brain and in most years it is I normally set this program the week uh, in the like the week of the 22nd or so Earth Week uh, is sort of what I, I aim for and quite often it's been too cold and I have had no singers going on at that point uh, this year the frogs and the plants are just, they're just coming. The birds will come. The birds are staying on, on time. Uh, you know, so people are getting a little panicky because they're like, I haven't seen this bird or I haven't seen that bird yet. It's a little too early yet. The birds are coming a little more on the scheduled, on the scheduled times so far. Uh, we haven't had birds showing up out of order yet. Lauren asks, are the frogs especially talkative near sunset? Yes. Uh, and they will get much louder and it, uh, usually right after sunset, so that dusk time before it gets too dark uh, is when you're going to get the, the greatest volume. So if you're going to go out listening for frogs, uh, you want to probably, if you have supper, say 6, 630, uh, once you got that all cleaned up, um, you might want to take a drive or a walk uh, to an area pond and, and take a listen for them. Uh, if you don't have them like close enough to your house that you can hear. And there go my geese. Francine says she's debating whether she's hearing a wood frog or a leopard frog. Does it have the evil chuckle at all? <laughs> if it's a Francine I'm thinking of, she's a little mm -hmm. further south than we are. Um, so I'm guessing probably leopard frog. Because I'm betting the wood frogs might be done by you already. Um, if you're still down in that Madison, Gainesville, Rockford area. I love listening to this. It's so cool. For those of you who joined me late, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek. And I am live at the, uh, at the marsh at the frog pond. And we are listening to our spring singers. The one you hear the loudest is the spring peeper, tiny little frog, it's a little tree frog, gets about half the size of my thumb with the letter X on his back. And he's the real loud beep, beep, where there's a lot of them singing together, it sort of sounds like jingle bells, like if somebody had like little tiny uh, sleigh bells. They're the ones you can hear in temporary ponds as you drive by fields. This year, although most of the ponds around here anyway are dried up, we are, we are extremely dry in this part of the state. Uh, but if you have uh, wet ditches or ponds near you, you may very well be hearing them. And here they come. Francine was talking about the video and she says the peepers have been drowning out the evil chuckle. 
that's my assumption too. I got it. The leopard frogs, as it gets darker, I think we're going to start hearing maybe some more leopard frogs. I'm hoping there's one fairly close to me over here uh, that we can that we can pick up. One of the problems is I have very a very limited space that I have enough signal to make this work. Uh, and I'm really glad so far we haven't dropped that signal. Uh, so I don't have the luxury of walking closer to where I've been hearing them because I'm pretty sure I don't have enough signal to carry Facebook. Facebook's quite a, Facebook Live is quite a big um, uh, suck. It needs uh, quite a bit of, of signal. And I'm very limited. There's a very, like, literally a six foot wheat, a little square down here that I found that has enough, enough signal. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I am excited that we've kept the signal going uh, this long at least. Like I said, I can hear chorus frog, but without you being here, I, I don't even begin. They're mostly over this way, um, but they're drowning out. They're being drowned out by the by the peepers. Leopold wonders what's the difference between a frog and a toad. So uh, frogs have uh, a little different skin. They tend to have smoother skin. The toads have the warts. I don't know why we call them warts. They're bumps. Um, and they're actually, the bigger bumps on a toad are actually poison glands uh, that will, uh, 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 if like your dog bites into them and that, it can make them really sick uh, and not feel so good. It's kind of to teach your dog not to eat more toads, uh, so it's a way of, of being in there. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with, with skin, and I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about that on my program next week. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Wisconsin's frog and, frogs and their toad, uh, join me next week. Thursday, April 15th. The program will be at seven o'clock. It's on the Zoom platform. And so you do have to register for that so I can send you the link. You can register for the program, it's free. You can register for the program at beavercreekreserve.org. Francine would like you to describe the chorus frog song again. So uh, chorus frog, if you can imagine like a a stiff comb, like a plastic hair comb. And if you took your thumbnail and you ran it down across the, the teeth right at the base, you get kind of this I'm a little too too ringy, but uh, no, it's too high. It's it's that type of a noise. Uh, it's hard for me to imitate with my with my mouth. And I didn't want to bring all my props down here because once it gets dark, I didn't want to drop them in the, in the marsh uh, with me. Um, so. The uh, wood frog is the, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up. And when they are going, kind of sounds like ducks when they're feeding. The peeper has the high individual beep, beep, one we're hearing mostly. Chorus frog, um, and remember chorus frog's the one that has the stripes. And so I always think about that as being like the teeth on the comb. And it reminds me that he's gonna have the thumbnail on a comb sound. The leopard frog is the snore. It's kind of a uh, uh. But the leopard frog will quite often add in what I call the evil chuckle. The ha ha ha. And I got that because I was thinking, well, leopards, you know, hunting for their prey. Um, I'm thinking if they had a thought in their head, they've got to be sneaking up on those on the antelope or whatever they're hunting and going, ha ha ha, I'm gonna get you. Um, and so that's how I remember, because pickerel frogs look similar to leopard frogs, and they also have a snore. It's a, it's a faster, smoother snore, but I don't have to stand around going, who has the fast snore, who has the slow snore? As long as I hear that evil chuckle, I know that I have leopard frogs. Um, so again, I'm hoping, I wasn't sure they would sing at all. I've heard a few tonight, but I haven't heard them for a while. Uh, but I was hoping that we would hear them maybe tonight uh, as, we, as we're here listening. For those of you who've joined us late, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek, and I'm down at the marsh on the South Trails at the reserve. Beaver Creek is located about four miles north of the town of Fall Creek, Wisconsin, and that's roughly 12 to 15 miles south, southeast of the city of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And if you have questions, you can see people have been typing them into the comment section. And you're more than welcome to type them in. Again, if you want to learn more about frogs, join me next week, next Thursday night at 7 o'clock. 
is my Wisconsin Frog Program. And we'll learn more about frogs and uh, a little more detail about what they look like, what they sound like. That for, It's a free program, but you do need to register for it. It's on a Zoom platform. And so you can register at beavercreekreserve.org. And then once you're registered, I will have your email so I can send you the link to the Zoom. Leopold wonders, what are some predators of frogs? Oh, there's lots of things that like to eat frogs, which is part of the reason we have this many of them. Uh, remember, what we're hearing are only the boys. Only male frogs sing, and that usually in most animal populations, you get about a 50-50 shot. So half of them are boys, half of them are girls. So all of these frogs we're hearing, there's a lot of frogs out here. So what might eat them? Great blue herons, uh, little herons, bitterns. Hawks, there are some of the hawks that might come and eat them. Snakes. Bigger frogs, the green frogs and the bullfrogs. We don't have those here in this pond, uh, but they'll eat them. Uh, if they're in a body of water that has bigger fish, the what we call predatory fish, the bass or the walleye, they'll eat frogs. Uh, mink, raccoon, boy, there's a lot of things that like to eat frogs. Um, and so this is one of the reasons that we have to have so many frogs to help feed all the rest of these animals. When you look at uh, when the female lays her eggs, uh, in the case of wood frogs, they lay them in kind of a big softball, and there's a few hundred eggs in there. And then each female can lay seven, eight hundred eggs. That's going to be a lot of baby frogs if they all survive. But they don't, because a lot of them get eaten by, by the predators. I'm going to stop talking, because the leopard frog, of course, has been singing while I've been talking. wildlife. It just doesn't, you know, it doesn't play on cue. There's one solitary wood frog that kind of keeps chuckling off over here. I didn't pay the leopard frogs enough, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Again, this is, people have been asking me, this is extremely early for the frogs to be singing. Uh, typically, uh, I do this program, we come down to the marsh and we're listening to this during Earth Week. Uh, I usually figure between the 22nd and the 26th is when I aim to have this program. Last week when they started singing at the end of last week, I'm like, we had to do this now, because if I wait to the end of the month, there's not going to be a whole lot left singing. There's an off sound, and I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's right over here. It's one of the little little boys who've been caught who doesn't want to be caught, so he's going, I'm a frog, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. Um, trying to let the trying to let the other one know. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I'm a boy. I just had that chorus frog start up right here. Let's see if we can turn that way and get the microphone facing that way just a little bit. He doesn't keep singing, uh, but there is a chorus frog right here. One of the reasons we're not moving around too much is A, we don't want to make you seasick, and two, I have a very small space that we actually have enough signal to run Facebook Live. Uh, and so hope, I'm really glad we haven't lost it so far. Um, I should mention if we do drop it, I'll try to come back on, uh, find my spot again and, and come back in uh, as we are, are we listening. 
For those of you just joining me, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek, and I'm down on the trails uh, below the Nature Center. Beaver Creek Reserve is located about four miles north of Fall Creek, Wisconsin, about 12 to 15 miles south-southeast of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. If you want to learn more about frogs, join me next week. I'll do all of the Wisconsin frogs. We have 11 frogs that call Wisconsin home and one toad, and we'll talk in, about them and learn a little bit more about them. That's next Thursday night at 7 p.m. It is a, uh, a Zoom program, and so I do need you to register. It's free, uh, but you do need to register at beavercreekreserve.org. That way I have your email and can send you the link to the Zoom program. And of course, as we turn now, the, this chorus frog, who was like literally right here somewhere, stopped. I think I'm moving around a little bit too much probably for it. I look like a big predator. <laughs> I could do my hair and pose. Make them all stop singing. <laughs> Describe the calls again. So the song, the, the call that we are predominantly hearing is made by this frog right here. This is a spring peeper. He's a tiny tree frog. He gets to be about half the size of my thumb, so about that part of my thumb. He's got the X on his back, and he's got the real high-pitched peeps. No. Also the one that when they're singing, a lot of them singing in chorus, it sounds like kind of like bells, like jingle bells or sleigh bells. right here next to me, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. I just, I, always a mystery to me as to what you guys can hear or can't hear. There is one chorus frog who keeps singing once in a while. Uh, another little uh, tree frog that we have here with the lines on his back. This is the one that sounds sort of like a thumbnail on a comb, kind of a I, just, I can't make that, that noise loud enough for you to hear, um, and so I end up squeaking. The other one that I'm hoping sings again, and this sings a little closer to us, is this guy. We have two spotted frogs in Wisconsin. This is the northern leopard frog, and we also have pickerel frogs. Pickerels aren't singing yet. Uh, it's the leopard frogs that will sing first. And they both have a snore. Leopard frogs have a slow snore, kind of a... Uh, uh, but then they finish, they quite often finish with what I call the evil chuckle. And I love the evil chuckle because it goes, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and so I, that's always how I remember which one has the slow snore or the fast snore. This is the time of day when if you want to go listening for frogs, if you know of a small pond or a wet area near you, um, about 7.30, about sunset. Right after sunset is when they're probably going to be at their loudest. You can hear frogs singing during the day, but not as often. The problem is when frogs sing during the day, they give away their location. So all those things that want to eat them can find them a little bit easier. And it, for those of you who are joining me late, that barking sound you're hearing over here, there's geese. Um, they're just not happy I'm here. I think they're trying to nest down here somewhere, and they've been kind of... Uh, telling us what they think of us the whole time we've been here. It's amazing. If you have a chance, get out somewhere where you can listen. Or hopefully next year we can all gather safely and you'll be able to come down here with me. And it won't be too long. I really kind of want to do this right now because the peepers are getting to the point where they're starting to make my ears hurt. So there's one solo, one soloist wood frog over here. That's the frog with the little mask on his face. He's kind of, uh, look it up, look it up. 
he's not speeding up. I'm not sure why. He's just kind of sitting there, kind of, it kind of seems like he's stuck, but um, I almost think wood frogs might be done. Uh, they they go through their, their cycle pretty quickly. We're hearing spring peepers, the high-pitched peep noise. I'm hearing, and unfortunately, I don't think I can make you hear it. Um, there's this one who keeps singing here, but I'm not sure you're picking it up, and he doesn't sing with enough frequency that I'm, I'm able to, say, point at him right now. Um, it's the chorus frog, and that's the thumbnail on a comb. And I have not heard the leopard frog for a little while. There were a couple of them sounding off earlier, it seemed like, whenever I was talking. Um, but I haven't heard them uh, for, for a little bit now. And that's the, the snore, the ha <laughs> evil chuckle at the end. Jeanette asks, what types of frogs are poisonous? Poison tree frogs. Um, the Wisconsin does not have uh, uh, poisonous frogs in, the, in the, like, the traditional sense of poison frogs. Uh, like the poison dart frogs, those are typically rainforest species. Uh, toads have poison glands on them that will make your dog froth at the mouth. It's not probably going to kill your dog, but it hopefully will teach your dog not to eat toads anymore. Um, my brother had a dog that was really extremely not very smart um, and had to relearn that toad lesson like every three days. Uh, and, and there he'd eat it, he'd spit it up, he'd throw up, he'd leave him alone for a few days and then he'd try again. Uh, so some dogs learn, some dogs don't. Um, but I don't think in Wisconsin we have any of the more, of the what we consider traditionally poisonous uh, frogs. I love this sound. Okay, just because it's really, really pretty, I'm going to have Ray turn off of me and go look at the sky over there because it's just looking really, really cool. to give you the whole experience. I try to give you the whole marsh experience, the sunset, the noise. Again, if you join me a little bit late, I have a very limited window of space down here that I actually have strong enough signal to have Facebook Live run. Uh, and I'm extremely excited that we haven't dropped you yet. If I do drop you, we'll try to come back in as soon as we can get the, the signal back up. The noise is getting very impressive. Strongly recommend finding some areas that you could go or coming out to Beaver Creek. We're down on the yellow trail. But we are about as far out on the on the bottom trails as you can get. So if you do come, uh, technically our trails close at dark, but we would let you sneak in for a, a walk down here. But you make sure you know your may have, have a map or know the trails and bring a flashlight with you, uh, so you can find your way back. Come on, love. okay, that's a leopard frog cheer. Leopard frog, leopard frog. <laughs> the main noise we're hearing is the peeper, the little tiny guy with the X on his back, little tiny tree frog. Now those frogs are not in the water. They are up into the plants and on the trees singing up here. It's only the boys who are singing. So when you think about how much noise we're hearing, and typically in a normal animal population, the male females is about 50-50 males, 50-50 females. So there's potentially a lot of frogs out here.
<laughs> I should hope you could hear that. There's a leopard frog with the evil chuckle right behind me. Another one over there. Let's hope they get them out. They get everybody singing. It's getting darker, so. I'm betting they're too far away. I'm betting you can't hear them. I'm getting to a point where I have what I call peeper ear. Um, your ear starts to ring and it gets harder to hear. But I've got two leopards who keep singing. One's right behind me over here and one is just off this direction from me. Carol says I can hear them. Yay! <laughs> There's more and more of them starting to sing. And so that, that snore with the evil chuckle, again, is the leopard frog. Are we getting too dark? Can we even see this anymore? You can see it. It's too much. Too much? I think so. Okay. For those of you who joined me late, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek, and we are live at Beaver Creek's frog uh, marsh area. Uh, I am down below the nature center on the south trails on the yellow trail. Beaver Creek Reserve is located about four miles north of the town of Fall Creek, Wisconsin, about 12 miles, 12 to 15 miles south southeast of the city of Eau Claire. And we are hearing spring peepers. The loud peep, peep, peep. That's the little guy with the X on his back. My pictures have gotten all out of order, I'm sorry. We're starting to hear more of the leopard frog. The snore. And then at the end of it, once in a while, you'll hear the ha ha ha, the evil chuckle. We've heard some chorus frogs, but they're getting drowned out. You can't hear them any longer uh, from the volume of the peepers. And then we've had one poor little wood frog over here who's trying his heart out uh, to, to see if he can find a girlfriend down here. The leopard, or the wood frog is that one who's that. Uh, you see, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. More and more leopard frogs are popping off. There's one over here now. I told you, once it got a little darker. Ha, ha, ha. That was a good one. I love frogs. This is definitely spring now. Uh, people get excited about the bluebirds and that. Those guys come back, it snows. It's got to be warm for these for this to happen, and it has been. This is early for the frogs to be singing. Typically, I would do this program uh, like Earth Week. I usually uh, pick between the 22nd and the 26th of April. Uh, so to come out here and do this tonight was not anything I would have expected uh, before last week, actually. Wiley and Leopold say, we hear the leopard frog. Yay! 
there's more and more of them singing. This guy over here has got a pretty good chuckle going too. Ha ha ha. If you want to learn more about Wisconsin frogs, we have 11 frogs and one toad in the state of Wisconsin. If you want to learn more about them, join me next Thursday night at 7 o'clock. I'm doing a Zoom program. Uh, since it's a Zoom program, you do have to register for it. The program is free. All you need to do is go to beavercreekreserve.org to register. And then once you're registered, uh, right before the program, uh, the day before or so, I will send out a link to the Zoom so you can join us. But we had to get out here and try this. This is always just amazing to me. I love this. Ha 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 ha. That's our, that's our leopard frog. It's got the snore and then the evil ha ha ha. The really loud ones again are the spring peepers. Peepers are incredibly tiny. I can never believe that much volume comes out of something this big. Identified by the X on their back, little tiny tree frog. They're actually up here in the plant material. They're not in the water. Leopard frogs in the water, wood frogs in the water, chorus frog and peepers are on the plants, on the uh, reeds and the uh, hazelnuts and willows that are down here. I'm getting to a point where I don't even know if you can hear me anymore. <laughs> Got leopard frogs, evil chuckling on either side of me. The peepers with the high peep, peep, peep. I can no longer pick out the chorus frogs. They probably still are singing, but they're getting buried underneath all the rest of the noise. I do every once in a while hear the weird chirp. Uh, they, um, and remember, that's probably the boy who's been caught by it. Yeah, it's the boys who are singing, and they're looking for a girlfriend. Um, and so if a frog swims by, uh, they kind of go, hey, be my girlfriend. And if you happen to grab a boy frog, they'll go, no, I'm a boy, let me go. Uh, and so they make all sorts of uh, strange noises. Fantastic. If you have an opportunity to get out, I strongly encourage you to get out. As the light level has decreased, the frog level has increased. It's super impressive to hear this in real life, especially if you can hear different varieties. Again, if you want to learn a little bit more about Wisconsin frogs and their sounds, join me next Thursday, April 15th at 7 p.m. It's a free program, but it is a Zoom program, so you do need to register for it. And you can register on our webpage at beavercreekreserve.org. If there's anybody with any last questions, you can throw them into the comment section. My husband will pass them on. Otherwise, I think we're going to listen for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to call it a night. Julie is asking, do they hibernate in the mud or the leaves? It depends on the frog. The wood frogs uh, actually uh, hibernate in the leaf litter. They're super cool because they literally freeze. Wood frogs are the only frog that can be found uh, above the Arctic Circle. And if you're really interested in them, I'll talk about more about them at my program. Um, but if you can't come to the program, there's a YouTube video put out by the BBC, and it's called Frogsicles, I think, uh, frozen wood frogs. And they actually show like ice crystals inside the body and stuff. So they're super cool. The peepers and the chorus frogs, uh, edge of the mud, uh, leaf litter at the edge of a temporary pond. The other, the bigger frogs, the leopard frog, the green frog, the bullfrogs, those guys are in the water. They were down at the bottom of the pond hibernating underneath the 
underneath the pond ice for the most part. So it kind of depends on the frog. They do hibernate in separate places. This is really funny. Ray and I are standing about three feet apart from each other and we're like, he's like yelling the question at me and I'm like trying to yell back and <laughs> so it's getting really loud out here. All right, once again, my name is Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists at Beaver Creek. Uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight down here at the marsh. If you'd like to learn more about frogs, remember, join me next week at 7 o'clock Thursday, uh, April 15th. You do need to register for that program. It's a Zoom program. There's no, no cost. It is a free program. Go to beavercreekreserve.org and register so that I can send you the Zoom link. Hope to see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Can you finish? <laughs>